Hey YouTube, um, I had an Xbox 360 for Christmas, and before that I had a Wii and a computer, and uh, I used to play Black Ops on the Wii and the DS, and it sucked. Uh, well actually it didn't really suck, it's just, um, it was still pretty good, considering that the Wii was not really meant for Call of Duty, it was still pretty fun. Well, my computer lagged too much, so got a Xbox 360, and recently I just got a PlayStation 3, so now I think I have all the major game systems, and I'm here to review the Xbox and the PS3, in my opinion, of which is better. Okay, first of all, the controllers. This is an Xbox controller, and this is my PlayStation 3 controller. I must say, growing up with the PlayStation 2, I'm more used to the PlayStation 2 controller and would prefer it. But, when I started playing the Xbox, the controller was pretty sweet with its movements, and it was very um, easy to get into. It was more natural than when you get the PlayStation. It's doesn't really feel as natural when you get it because the Xbox you you get it and you start feeling like a pro but the PlayStation I think is more smooth in your movements trying to play so and this I'll have to give the PlayStation and the Xbox both a point right there we're tied next I'd like to talk about the headsets that they each have right here Xbox 360 headset I put down the wrong way hold on. An Xbox 360 headset, in my opinion, is uh, pretty good, you know. I don't have any Turtle Beach, I have just a standard one, but, you know, still pretty good. And, um, last, over here, I should have my PlayStation 3 headset. I keep it all boxed because I move around a lot, and, you know, whenever I'm not using it, I just, uh, keep it in there. I must say that, so far, the, X the PlayStation 1, I can hear people more clearly, but there's, like way more open mics on PlayStation 3 and I think it's the fact that I don't know if there's a party chat or not so I don't really know so but when it comes to comfort with the headset I have to give that to the Xbox 360 so right there Xbox 360 headset takes it for comfort but PlayStation takes it for quality when it comes to the graphics of the games I must say that Xbox um, when you play there's less hackers on Xbox yet the PlayStation 3 has better graphics so right there, Xbox Online, you can just tell. Like Modern Warfare 2, for instance. Let's see here. Modern Warfare 2 for the Xbox 360. It is uh, pretty good. I played it with my friends. Got to like 8th Prestige, I believe. And um, the game is pretty good. I mean, I have experienced like zero hackers while playing the game through there. And then you come over here, and I have gotten... Modern Warfare 2 for the PlayStation 3. I must say it is a pretty good game, but I do not enjoy the en enjoy the online multiplayer on here. It is somewhat fun, but is filled with too many hackers. When it comes to Black Ops, I must say I enjoyed Black Ops on the PlayStation 3 a whole lot more than on the Xbox. On Zombies, uh, like on almost every group I got in, we got past like um, a wave like 10 or whatever. Well, uh, round 10, yeah, we got like, we always got past round 10 at least. When I played on the Xbox, we always failed on like the fourth round. Well, anyway, when it comes down to the look and the style of these systems, I must say that I... There is my MW3 Special Edition Xbox 360. I must say, though, I hate sometimes where it's just like hover to touch, you know? It's pretty cool and everything. But um, sometimes I was I'm like playing I was playing Skyrim and I haven't saved for like four hours, and I accidentally buzz by the turn on thing, which just turns it on, and I did not enjoy that at all because you know that just ruined my game. Over here, okay. over here we have the PlayStation Three. Most people would say not as stylish, and I agree with that. The Xbox 360 is sexy compared to this thing, but. The Xbox 360, I do not like how the Xbox 360, when I turn it on, it sounds like it's about to explode from overheating. I do not enjoy that feeling. I'm sitting there trying to listen to the game, and I'll hear... With the PlayStation, I don't hear that at all. It's smooth. Yes, you can tell after, like, 10 hours of playing, it starts overheating, but you don't hear that loud noise going on. I would say that the Xbox 360 online has a better setup for, like, parties. They have parties, chats, and... Uh, it's just Xbox Live is easier to get around. PlayStation Network is more simple. There's not as much stuff, and PlayStation Store is not as enjoyable, and I don't know if there's parties. But I do enjoy the fact that there's video chat if you have a 
USB video thing that hooks up to it. So, when it comes down to it, myself, I enjoy PlayStation 3. The biggest thing that separates these two is the internet. The free to play is the play PlayStation 3 is free to play, and Xbox you have to pay. For someone like me, I'm going to uh, honors. I'm in high school, I'm taking all but one honors class, and I'm just going to high school like after the summer's over. So, um, I need something because I won't be making as much money, and I won't be able to pay for Xbox Live. So, I'm, I use my birthday money to get a PlayStation 3. So, um, in my opinion, I like the PlayStation 3, and I like the Xbox. But when it comes down to it, the PlayStation 3, the Xbox is more smoother to play, and you feel like a pro when playing it. The PlayStation 3, um, it's just, when you get used to it, it's more smooth, and the controls are just, like, natural. When the Xbox is easier to get into, and it's just, Xbox gets boring more fast. When it comes to the games, though, Halo versus Resistance... Resistance all the way. This game, I can say definitely, is very awesome. I have played Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Reach, and all that other crap out there. I never played Halo Wars, but well, I played Resistance 1 and 2, and so far I can say I really enjoy these games. I don't know if it's on a freak about those alien kind of games, because, you know, I love Fear and Bioshock and Doom 3 and all that stuff. But I will say that, in my opinion, the PlayStation 3 will take the lead. And, um, yeah.